that twitch crack and eating all those messages. Alright, let's uh, save the game here. Because it crashed. Right here I went and talked to a to an NPC and it crashed, so we'll uh, we'll just get to an end. <clears throat> you there, where is? SO1 tumbled onto Stumbled onto the silly old RPG called Anvil of Dawn. Thanks to my arena stream you gave it a go. Not a bad little game. Nice. What is with those O1s? Uh, where is the nearest inn? So we should put it on our... Excellent. Where would that be? The Crimson Gin. So just south. Then around here. Not that one, this one. What is that guy brandishing? Oh well. Probably nothing to put... Wow. Hello everybody, I just... I looked before and we had four viewers just starting out, now we have 17. Guys, Twitch chat right now is dropping tons of messages. So if it doesn't come up right up there, then the message hasn't sent through. Just just here I'll say hi to everybody who's here. Hello Corey, uh, Gage, Lelouch, Malstab, Saint, Swordsmaster Guy, and Z Zagnus, or I don't know how exactly I'm supposed to pronounce that, but welcome everybody. And I do apologize for Twitch chat being trash right now. But the the best solution is to go download HexChat or another chat client and use that. They seem to work a lot better than Twitch's built-in chat. Now let's see what the time is. 3.13 in the afternoon. Why was it so dark then? Hey, Algy. 3.13. So we want to sleep for 17 hours. I would take no chances. For Tharn has no mercy and will attack the moment... New glasses? No, they're the same. Same old glasses. Somewhere in its volcanic depths is the final piece of the staff of chaos. The entrance to that fabled mountain has disappeared with the dwarves that mined it. There may still be those who know of it, however. Find the entrance, enter the volcanic catacombs, and return with the final piece of the staff. We are so close. I wish you well. The final piece of the staff shall be retrieved. <sighs> wait for the reference chat. Indeed. Indeed. Gonna wait and see if your messages actually went through. Yes, they did. Well, assuming your only messages were hello and then you got. Wait. Oh, I've got a click. Goodness gracious. This has only been like three days since I played or something. For some reason. I don't know, man. So the last, uh, last piece is clearly in Morrowind. So one place we haven't been, other than the Imperial Province, which I think is the last place we go. Firewatch? I get the feeling it's gonna be around here, this, this, uh, this volcano thing, the volcanic place. Let's go to Ebenhart, I think. Fourteen days? Sure. Oh, by the way, guys, I owe you one giveaway whenever we do a break. Since we're already at over 15 viewers. So, guys, before the before the giveaway, please uh, go and download a chat client, like HexChat. That'll help you actually be able to send through messages to, to chat. Now, where is... Uh, oh, first of all, the nearest store. Pretty sure it's southwest of it, alright. Because we need to go repair our stuff before we bother going to Dagoth Earth. Aha! Here it is. It was just southwest, just like I said. Smith. Actually, let's call it repair. Because we're going to drop stuff up off here to repair. By the way, guys, I am... I was pretty pessimistic about ESO a little while ago, but now I'm super hyped. I'm super, super hyped for it. Can't wait to play it. I haven't seen that much of it, but what I've seen is really good, and especially I was I was quite surprised by the graphics. They're really, really good for an MMO. Even just really, really good in general. Except for there's like a few minor things that I that, that you can pick about it, but other than those few minor things, really, really good. Diddy says uh, he's here in the chat, but it's not working. So hello, Diddy. Welcome. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that one. Alright, let's repair one sort of strength. I just like repairing everything in order. Nope, he's full, alright. Now I wonder, because there was another door on this same building over on the other side, the western side, if that's going to be a separate blacksmith. Or if it's going to be the same one. Probably the same one, just a different door. But maybe it's... I mean, it could be... Wow, no, it's a different one. It's just another door in the same building, and it's a different... It's a different place altogether. Wow. That's pretty mind-blowing. Oh, the katana doesn't need a repairing. Okay. What about this one? Oh, good. What about the open katana of lightning? Okay, wow. And I'm guessing nothing else. Yes, you guys, well... If chat's loaded for you guys, go to that website, hexchat.github.io and download hexchat and use that to chat. Because Twitch chat is a broken. The Curus, the Greaves, and if Baldwin and the Gauntlets never get damaged. I just don't get it. Alright, now we just need to find the nearest inn, sleep for 10 days. There's a person who can tell us that. Actually, we're on the map, is our thing. Near the north side, northern, near the northeast, near the northeast. And where's an NPC to tell me where an inn is? You there? Fine woman. Where is the nearest inn? This, by the way, guys, will most likely be the last arena stream. I'm pretty sure we'll find the eighth piece of the Chaos Staff, or the Staff of Chaos, and then defeat Jagathan today. If I can see your map, I'll show you how... Oh, well, there you go. That was bloody easy. It's just up there to the north. Huh. Wait. Is it this little building here, or is it the big building? Oh, it's, it's the little one. Okay. Even Hexchat will have issues today, you say? Well, that's balls. So people have been sending messages with Hexchat and it still hasn't sent through. Well, that's just a, <coughs> a travesty. It really is. I, I'm not saying that sarcastically, by the way. Like, the whole point of streaming is to interact with people and have a good time. Chat doesn't even work. Well, it works a little bit. It works. It works a little bit. You're just gonna say the same thing 20 times. Oh, now I can't for a while yet. For Amiga 240 hours. Ah, refreshed after that short nap. Where is the? Okay, he's there. So the exit door is over here. Wait. Where's the... is it over... is it down here? Okay. Hmm, we need to head a little bit north and west. Oh no, south. Just south. Okay. Opera does... Opera 12 has an inbuilt in -built IRC client. Nice. Well, you guys uh, can go install Opera, which is a web browser, if you'd like. And that seems to also be able to work. Twitch is such a message to pilferer. I agree, Sabutek. I agree. I agree. By the way, guys, um, when we do ESO, when ESO comes out, we're going to do it as the Twitch Geeks, right? It's going to be me, Diddy OP, and anybody else in Twitch Geeks who wants to play. All at the same time, like a certain few times a week. And that's all garbage. Um, so we're going to play that together on the Twitch Geeks channel and all that. But, I'm also that'll be like my ultimate nerd character, right? Then I'm also going to have another character, which I play, you know, with just you guys on my stream when, when the other Twitch Geeks don't want to play ESO. You're trying with two IRC clients now? Well, one message got through. <coughs> Excuse me. 
My throat's got a bit of a tickle this morning, so... A little bit of a drink here and there. Might do some good. Let's see what we can buy this guy before we retrieve our repair. Mithril Battle Axe? Don't really need it. Hey Saint, how come Arena has fast travel but Morrowind doesn't? Well, Morrowind has the... the uh... those thingamabobs that cart you around everywhere. So it kind of has fast travel, it just costs a little bit of money. And the Mage's Guild teleports you to places. Not working for you either. You've sent like 12 or so messages so far, and you think you've only seen one. Wow, well that sucks the end of words. And I mean, uh, look at all the... We've got 19 people here, and pff, there's like 4 people in the chat right now, so... I'm pretty sure chat is totally broken for some people. Not just sending every, every message once and, you know, now and then. Just sending no messages at all. You there, fine woman. Where is Dagoth Ur? It was rumored that dwarves built a secret opening to the Mount of Dagoth Ur. Now any knowledge of that is lost unless the palace kept records. You may wish to go and inquire there. Okay. Where is the palace? A bit south of it. Okay, thanks for that. Now we are near the western wall, aren't we? Nearish. So we'll head southwest. Because it'll be along a wall. Actually, let's just head fully west. And then south. Wait, I meant east. Oops. Let's head to the eastern wall. And then, uh... Hey, guys! Hold on, I'm gonna go to Hickstrad again and welcome everybody. Welcome... Who wasn't here before? Humble, Kagu, Jade, Dram, Max and Sky. Uh, you guys, and anybody else who's, who's in the stream but isn't able to chat, welcome to the stream. If you cannot use chat, try downloading a, an IRC client, and I should also remove this from the map. I'll just call it a smith. Try downloading an IRC client. If you don't see your message appear up here, then it hasn't. The, the Twitch Kraken's eaten your, your message. So, Twitch chat's been bugged for quite a while now. Silt Striders, is it? Are they Silt Striders? They might be. I thought it was a different word, but I think it is Silt Striders now that I think of it. Okay. Where the heck is the palace? The woman said just a bit south. Oh, is this it? No. Aha! This is it. Excellent. Uh, let's save before we go in there. There we go. You enter King Cassock's audience chamber, shaking the chill of the grey autumn day from your skin. Being currently at peace with his neighbour Mournhold, the leading citizens of Evan Hart have met to discuss the resultant implications of the king. Yes, welcome humble Kagu. Hail, king. My name is King Cassock, and I have heard that you seek Dagoth Ur, the legendary home of the dwarven people. Perhaps we can help one another. I have in my position the Anvil of Mythos, greatest of the Dwarven blacksmiths. Only one object is strong enough not to shatter when used to shape metal upon the anvil, the Hammer of Garin. It is said that the ring of the Hammer of upon the anvil speaks to the user, telling him the entrance to the Mount of Dagoth Ur. With the raw metals present within the mountain, my blacksmiths will be able to fashion the finest weapons and armor in the realm. Recover the hammer for me, it was supposedly lost in the dungeon known as the Black Gate. I will show you where this dungeon can be found. You will be rewarded for the deed with the location of the entrance to Dagoth Earth. You can then journey there and explore to your heart's content. Yes. Excellent, Humble Cargo, and hey Blitz Rain! Welcome! This is the Elder Scrolls Arena. Yes, the very first Elder Scrolls game. You do me a great service, Gareth Hogan. The one that I nor my people will easily forget. Come, here is the location of the Black Gate. King Cassock inscribes the location of the Black Gate, but with the Hammer of Gold on your map. Alright, let's head to the Black Gate. Where is it? The Black Gate. By the way, guys, I went into, uh, well, it's under NDA, but you're allowed to say a little bit about it, I guess. I went into uh, the Elder Scrolls Online and made the, made some characters just for fun, 
and to explore the character creator. And it's it's a really good character creating system. It's a bit simpler than Skyrim and stuff, but you can get through it much faster and still get the custom character that you want. So I am quite pleased with it. Now let's give the game a save right at the entrance to the place. Oh my god! The number of rats! It's too damn high. Oh! Oh! Wow. <coughs> I was a fool. Already I was a fool. Good god, two stone golems right at the start of this damn dungeon. Has meaning to you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, let's load into the game. Um, this is not good. <laughs> I was a fool. Why did your text come out red on the overlay? Because you said uh, a word that I have set to highlight whenever people say it. You can try and guess which one it is. Hey, Lelouch. Don't, don't spam all those different words in the chat, though. But you can. Oh. Okay, I need my mithril sword here okay good come on good gravy two stone golems as soon as I get into the dungeon goodness gracious is that red chat by the way guys the red text is that perfectly read in fact I'm gonna have a look myself Oh yeah, looks readable. I was just making sure that red text where it was highlighted was uh, still readable on the stream. Now, let's go over here and give it a save. And maybe a rest to get our magicka back. Since we just entered the dungeon, might as well go around fully healed. Good, I'll save it again then. Did I just do 7118? 6118. Well, 618. was this? It's a dead end room already. Oh well. I like these big open chambers like this rather than the closed corridors. Oh! Oh my god, another stone golem already. Uh, Mithril, please. Honestly, right now, I'm kind of hoping that these dungeons don't take that long and we can just sort of get through them, have a riddle or two, and then uh, get, get what we're here for. And then go face Jagathon, because I really just want to... I'm, I'm quite hyped to finish this game now. I am quite hyped. Where are you, rats? I hear you. Rodents of extraordinary size. Oh god, let me change weapons. So many of these dudes, oh my god. Oh! Okay, we need to get closer to that other one. If we're close enough to both of them that they, they, they won't cast, then we can just kill one of them freely. We should be good here, I think. Good gravy. Okay, there you go. Oh my god! Goodness gracious. Uh, please let me sleep. There was like a third of my mana bar just on those two guys. And let's save again. Oh, wait, this is... Huh. Back to the entrance. Well, guess it's easy to decide where to go then. We're heading south. Uh, 
This dungeon layout, I don't know. It's starting to freak me out just because it's so open. Like, I could go into a room and it, 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 it could just be... Oh, God. It could just be... A bunch of dudes right there in the in the in the thing. Well, they just died to my magic resist, so that's good. Damn rats! My God, the number of rats. Well, they're better than facing friggin' stone golems. Okay, treasure, good. That's what I like to see. Let's see what this bracelet does. Bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. One armor. Pfft. Worthless. Drop it. Alright, where are we on the map now? Oh god. Come on. Come on, there you go. Hey Gamer Kitty, yes, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to most likely the last day of Arena. Okay, how did I take damage? Oh, right there. Of course, a couple of ghouls right behind me. A couple of bagools. Yes, Master, welcome. Uh, let's give the game another save here. By the way, guys, um, I contacted my manager at work and said hey I want to take one of my days off work which would be my Saturday which means most of you guys Friday and we're gonna on on Fridays now because I normally stream Sunday to Thursday and then I work Friday Saturday right so now on Fridays we're gonna do Twitch Geeks community game night so we're gonna play games multiplayer games with you guys like all, all together And with each other, obviously. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Hey, Swillimo, welcome. Oh, my God. No. Oh. Damn it. Oh. Twitch keeps eating your messages. Yeah, I know, Gamer Kitty. I know. You guys, uh, just to reiterate how much Twitch is eating messages, I was in Co Carnage's stream this morning. I'm subscribed to him, by the way. And uh, and he had 1,900 people in the stream. And at many times throughout the morning, the chat was completely blank. Like, for decent periods of time. Like, I don't know, nearly a minute at a time sometimes, nobody would say anything because nobody could say anything. Because chat was so broken. So, chat is really, really, really bad right now. So, whenever you say anything, make sure it comes up up there. If it doesn't, keep trying. Try downloading a chat client like HexChat or whatever. They seem to help. And, uh, yeah, other than that, good luck getting your messages through because it's not a good day for chat. Which is sad. The whole thing that, that makes streaming enjoyable. It's not the games. The games are alright. Like, I've played games all my life. I, I do love playing games. But it's the people. It's you guys that actually make me enjoy streaming. So, there's no point in streaming without being able to talk to you guys. Really. I'm not going to cancel the stream or anything just because chat's bugged to hell and back. But, you know, we'll just be slightly less pleased with Twitch. Whoops, wrong one. This one. By the way, guys, if you weren't in uh, Opie Nerd's stream yesterday, he made a few big announcements, but the main one was that he has decided... Oh, a silver longsword? That might actually be good. Yeah. He's decided that he is going to actively pursue a Twitch partnership now. Because before, he's just said, well, I mean, you know, a partnership would be nice, but I don't really need it. You know, because he doesn't need the income. Really. Right? But I, uh, I was talking to him for uh, like three to four hours the other night. And that was one of the things that I brought up was Twitch partnership and why I think he should consider it important. And I was talking about, you know, how I see the future of Twitch geeks and, 
and his channel and all that kind of stuff. And I basically convinced him <laughs> to uh, to pursue partnership and get the get the uh, sub emotes and all that kind of stuff. So huzzah! He's finally going for it. He's gonna do a few things to improve his chances of, of getting a Twitch partnership. Like for instance, removing the licensed music he plays during his uh, his breaks. Well, that was weird. Let me climb up when I was barely even facing the surface. Okay, was this room just a little? Oh, there's a secret door over there. Is there? It's not even a secret door. It's just just a gap with a door. So yeah, before OP said that the only thing he cared about with Twitch partnership was the encoding options, and since he gets those automatically, he didn't. He was like, yeah, I don't need it. I've already got encoding options every time I stream, but now he's going to actually actively pursue getting a partnership on his channel, which I think is excellent. And by the way, guys, also with Twitch Geeks, uh, we're considering right now hiring somebody to develop like a really professional-looking website with all the you know animations and and complicated code and all that kind of stuff. Because right now, like, it's it's an okay site, like, for, the, for sort of blog posts from the streamers and stuff, right, and holding information like I have the giveaway information on there. Hey Andy, welcome. But there's, like, th there's no big reason to go to, to, the, to the Twitch Geeks website, website, right? Like, you wouldn't go there to watch me when you can just watch me on Twitch. Most likely, you just go there for certain information. So we really want to make it into a really good website. Okay. The pathfinding in this game is, is just amazing. <laughs> By the way, if you noticed there, how amazing it was. Now, let's give the let's give our character a bit of a rest here, Gareth Hogrand. Oh, Well, at least I appreciate the respect. Took too long to get chat working when the hex went for the hex chat client method. Wait, when for the wait, what? So chat wasn't working on default Twitch chat, so you went for the, the hex chat uh option and it ended up working. Well that's good, but yeah, Twitch Twitch chat really needs improvements. I love Twitch chat, by the way, with the emoticons. Like, it's Twitch chat is great, but <laughs> it needs to be fixed. It needs to be fixed. It's it's just it's just atrocious at the moment. It really, really is. It, like, it should be Twitch's number one priority right now. Would be getting chat actually working, because it is not good. Hey, River Dusk. Could add a chat function to the website for when Twitch chat is messing up. You know what? Uh, I've been thinking. I haven't even discussed this with, with OP Nerd yet. But in the future, this is right now. We're, we're we need to concentrate on doing different Twitch geek stuff, like uh, improving the website, starting the the community game nights, which are starting should start this week, and um, and starting the Twitch geeks podcast. Those are the focuses right now. But uh, that's one of the features I'm gonna suggest to OP Nerd in the future is having our own chat client and um, there's uh, there's some some certain things I want programmed into the website for watching multiple streams and, uh, and a featured streamer system that would uh, basically you know switch switch streams on the front page you know fish the featured streamer on the front page of Twitch Geeks all the time depending on what's going on hey DK welcome and automatically switch to somebody who's live or if nobody's live it would give you other options to watch videos or just say you know sorry nobody's live right now sort of thing but yeah and we're also we've also been talking about especially Diddy has been most interested in this getting uh, basically 24 hour Twitch Geek streams on so like with, with the way the schedules match up right now 
I uh, or, I think Aurum usually streams in the morning, right? And then uh, as soon as he finishes, is pretty much when I start streaming. Although we haven't worked out the exact schedule, but yeah, it's it's basically that. So uh, then as soon as I finish streaming, OP Nerd starts streaming. And as soon as OP finishes streaming, Diddy starts streaming. And then it would, you know, go back around. So there'd always be a Twitch geek to watch. But thinking about that kind of stuff as well. Oh, and guys, guys, I know some of you may not have, uh, may, may have been AFK or may not have been here yet. When I said I have talked to my manager about taking one of my days off work and... Uh, you know, it's it's going to be fine. I've already talked with her about it before, and she basically said, "Whenever you want, you can do it." And then, if you want your, if you want extra shifts, you can just pick them up as they come after that. Like if you need the extra work. Um, so I'm just going to discuss that with my manager tonight after the stream, and basically, uh, I should I should have the, like the coming Saturday off, and then every Saturday after that, I won't be working. So, that'll mean, I'll, I'll be, uh, what's going to happen on Saturdays, right now the plan is to stream like normal on a Saturday, or it'll be a, a Friday UTC time, to stream like normal on a Friday, and then after my stream, my stream at the end is probably a little bit early, and then after it we would go and do the Twitch Geeks podcast, but that's, we're not doing that yet, we're going to do the first Twitch Geeks podcast probably next month. And then after the podcast, we would have the community game night. So Friday is going to be a full-on day uh, when we when we get all the stuff underway. It's it's we're going to have the first community game night this Friday, by the way. Oh my God, Iron Golem. So, or I believe so. We're still we're still discussing a little bit, making sure the timing's right and everybody's uh, everybody everybody's going to be available at that time, and and we're going to have a game to play with everybody, but. This Friday should be the uh, the first Twitch Geeks Community Game Night. And hey now, Silver Blade. Yes, uh, emotes do work when you type them into IRC. They'll show to anybody who's using the Twitch chat client. But if you use, you know, hex chat to view the chat as well, then it just comes up as the word. You can use. There is one chat client called Chatty that I know does have the emoticons built in. So that one actually does display Twitch emoticons. I don't know if it works for subscriber emoticons. I think it only has the standard, excuse me, Twitch emoticons built in, but yeah. So, but at, at least chat works. That's the main, the main point of getting hex chat or another IRC client so that you can actually chat. Now, let's continue heading south here. Oh great, a troll's nearby. Yep, there he is. And he... Oh, see, another one. Sorry about my... Uh, <coughs> my throat, by the way, guys. Just been a little bit bothered this morning. Are these... Oh, I thought they'd be riddle doors. Oh god. Oh, I tried to travel, what? I tried to heal, but I guess I just slammed the wrong button there. Well, all the doors have changed, so that might be a positive. Twitch needs to fix- I know, Gamer Kitty, I know. I know. <coughs> Excuse me. Very sorry about that. I tell you what, with the with the way my throat is in the mornings, you'd think I was a, a heavy smoker or something, but nope, 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 don't smoke. Or anything of the sort. Or you'd think I would, uh, would be a heavy drinker or something even, but nope, 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 nope. What are the odds on that happening? Oh, Twitch fixing itself. Twitch, they'll fix themselves eventually. Twitch is actually overall a pretty good set of people and a, and a, and a website and all that, right? They, they maintain their free service pretty damn well, honestly. But their chat, their chat has been suboptimal for forever. Like, I used to stream on Owned, and Owned didn't have, yes, yeah, Mastip, Owned didn't have the, uh, 
the emoticons, but its chat didn't disconnect all the time. Even way back then, Twitch's chat was disconnecting. So, yeah, it's Twitch chat has had problems for a very, very long time. Oh god. What is with my throat, man? <coughs> oh, I'm very sorry, guys. Very sorry. I might, uh, during my first break, go and get myself a big mug of milk. I'm actually almost out of milk again. I'm going to have to go on another bike ride. Go get some. One message in over 20 went through. Good gravy. Yep, it's not, uh, it's not a good day for Twitch chat. Good day for the lurkers, I suppose. You, no, no, that's, that's not even true. Because honestly, I think my stream is a lot more entertaining the more people are in chat. I think it's a lot more entertaining if there's people to talk to. Oh! Uh... Oh! Uh... Oh. Diddy, welcome. Yeah, it's it's been totally broken like this for weeks. It has. The Twitch chat has been dropping messages and disconnecting for a long time. For too long. It really is. It really is too long. I can understand if maybe for a week it took, you know, it, it took maybe it took them a week to get this working. But it really does need to be fixed right now like today it's it's just it's just outrageous like chat chat is such an integral part of living uh live streaming live streaming the whole point of live streaming rather than just making youtube videos stuff is the live interaction if you guys can't interact what's the point hey liam you're using your phone to view the stream good graver well welcome i hope it doesn't lag on you and stuff it's good to see you. Good to see you back. Oh god. Okay, get the mithril blade. Hold on. Oh goodness gracious, my throat is not happy this morning. Oops, I just alt tabbed again. It seems fine, good. I'm assuming you're talking about the lag on the on the stream, as I said, you know. Yeah. You know, you know. By the way, guys, if you don't know who Liam So Hot is right there, a lot of you probably don't. Hey, Gage. I think a lot of you guys were uh, have been new viewers since last time Liam was in, or the last time you know Liam had actual internet. This looks like a bad game, Gage. Well, it does look like a bad game, but it plays very, very well. And in my opinion, is a highly enjoyable game. But uh, Liam has been one of my longest time viewers. He's been my uh, my friend and viewer since back in the YouTube days when I was doing YouTube every, every day. And what he was watching my stream, I think he was watching it even when I was back on OWN TV, streaming casually over there. So, and he was also, for the longest time, when I was only averaging like a few viewers throughout the day, he was like the guy who was there for the first few hours and then he had to go to sleep. And then Commander Sam was the guy who was there for the last few hours. I think Mexican Noodles and Revanche and stuff watched during the day. So, <laughs> he's been a great supporter of those streams. So you guys, you know, that's that's just some, he, he, he gets your prestige, or he should anyway. Consider him in high regard. Hey Dallas Chiefs fans, welcome! Yes, I know you very well from OP's stream. Or at least I remember you very well. I don't know you very well, obviously. But, welcome and it's good to have you, uh, have you come over. Yeah, I've seen you tons over in OP's stream. So how's everyone been? Well, other than Twitch chat being garbage, I've actually been very good. As I said, I'm uh, I'm taking that one day off work. We're getting more Twitch Geek stuff underway, really moving forward, and um, and making a ton of progress. The one problem right now is the Twitch chat. 
but uh, I've also figured out uh, a little a little more understanding of the of the green screen chroma key system on in OBS. I figured out that uh, it's better to like say my, my my sheet behind me is blue, right? And it's all kinds of different tones of blue. It's like a dark blue and a light blue and all that, right? So it's best to choose a light color. You know, it's just changing colors because of the shadows, right? It's best to choose the lightest blue that's on the sheet. And then use a high similarity value to uh, make it phase out all the dark blue as well. Because that way I can, you know, since there's no other no other thing similar light, light blue, my, color, my skin isn't light blue, you know, my shirts aren't light blue, and all that kind of stuff. It'll only, it'll, you know, the similarity value is basically just going down the, the, the darkness of the blue. And eventually, if I went too far with it, it'd go into the, the black and all that kind of stuff. But it works really well. As you guys can see right now behind me, you know, the, the blue screen is totally phased out right now. Can't see a bit of it, right? Uh, even though the, the lighting is uneven and it's, and it's uh, quite dark, which is usually makes it really difficult to use it as a, as a blue screen, as a chroma key screen, but yeah, it's working very well. Since then, you bought a Wii U and hopefully getting some games on Friday to prolong yourself not going insane. Yeah, well, I can un I, I can imagine with no internet. Last time I had no internet for any decent amount of time was when I moved to my dad's place two years ago now. I couldn't have internet for 12 days. All my computer. Couldn't have either of those for 12 days. And in that time, I bought my first smartphone. That was how I dealt with that situation. I went down to the McDonald's all the time to use their free Wi-Fi. <laughs> I didn't buy anything there. Just sitting there using their free Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Welcome, my revanche. Yeah, stream starts uh, 50 minutes ago each day. 50 minutes ago. And holy crap, 35 people in the stream already. Um, welcome, everybody. I know most of you guys aren't able to say hello because Twitch chat is totally broken. But that does mean I owe two giveaways. So, guys, please, before, the, before I have to do the giveaways which I'll be doing during, uh, like, right after a break, whenever I take that. Please make sure you can get chat working, because to enter the giveaways, you have to have chat working. You have to be able to chat. So, uh, you know, either download a Hex chat, download Hex chat uh, to use that for chat, or, or uh, keep refreshing the page until you finally get it to work, because I really don't want to do a giveaway with, with 30 people here and only have 5 people actually able to enter. I mean, I'll still do the giveaway. I'm not going to make those those who actually can chat miss out, but please, please try to get chat working. Because I don't want everybody to miss out. Miss, miss out on the opportunity. And by the way, I saw uh, OP Nerd started doing giveaways on his stream as well. You only have Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed currently, which you've 100%ed, and Nintendo Land, which came with the console. Wow, you do need more games. You do need more games. By the way, guys, speaking of uh, consoles with not many games... Oh. Hey, Unorthodox, welcome, and Cake Bombs, welcome. Twitch is very hungry today, yes. Let's see how many messages will chat eat throughout the giveaway. A lot of them, I'd say. But speaking of consoles with not many games... I have a few friends who bought PS4s and Xbox Ones, and they said they played the like one or two good games that released with the consoles, and now the the PS4 and the Xbox One are just their coasters for their PS3s and their Xbox 360s. <laughs> oh, isn't that just stupid? Isn't that just stupid? Isn't it? Isn't it sad that you have to release a console like at the exact same time as another console as the competing console? Did my sword break? No, I just put it away. Isn't it sad that you have to release it exactly when the other console releases just to match sales? Like, you, 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 you can't hold off until you actually have good games to release with it because with the amount of time it would take, everybody would have already bought the other console and decided that's the one they're going with. Twitch, yeah. Twitch is so hungry. Twitch is so hungry. And, by the way, guys, it's not a, it's not a discriminant... It, the, 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 the Twitch chat... Uh, Kraken is indiscriminate between partnered streamers and unpartnered streamers because as I've said I was on Co-Carnage's stream this morning and he had uh, 1900 viewers 1900 viewers and chat was totally dead for like minutes at a time so 
it's eating a lot of messages this morning which is not good it really it really does need to be fixed it really does i mean i'm not hey salucci welcome yes i'm very afraid of beavers and if you guys wonder what Salucci's talking about, look, Google Zombievers. I think it's R18, but Google it. Oh, God. <clears throat> Google it if you're old enough. You've been playing Outlast and Tomb Raider because you haven't played it yet, and there aren't many completely new games yet. You're just lucky that you haven't played any of these re-releases. Indeed, indeed. You know, all the new games these are... Hold on. Thief should be coming out soon. No guarantee how good it'll be. You've heard mixed reviews? I haven't heard any reviews of it yet. But it... I mean, if it's like Thief of the Deadly Shadows at all, then it's going to be great. I would prefer a Tenchu game. I would prefer a new Tenchu game, to be honest. That would be my ideal ninja stealth assassin type game. But, you know, Thief still looks like a good game to me. I haven't seen much gameplay or anything, though. So I'm not, I, I haven't been able to actually have hands-on experience with the game or anything. But it looks like it might be good. We'll see, we'll see. Hey Peter, welcome. You know what, you know what's been really bothering me about uh, games these days that have been releasing? It's, you know, there are the same old good games and re-releases and, and remakes and, and sequels and all that kind of stuff. But all the original games seem to be indie games. And all the indie games seem to be freaking early access garbage just garbage it's horrendous if you could look on steam and go through the specials uh, especially with the every monday they have a new new set of specials on this separate page on the news page they're all early access games it's atrocious it's just a shame that 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 people buy so many early access games like i think the one early access game and it's, it's kind of early access it's beta access um when the beta releases uh is frontiers i kickstarted frontiers and i don't regret that at all looking at the game it looks very good um so i can't wait to play that but people are so willing to kickstart games and to to buy early access games and i really think if it's an early access game you should be you like the only people who should be buying into early access should be the people who already like who love the idea of the game and who would love to play the game in its current state not just that they would want to test it but they would love to play it in the current state and they trust the developer okay you can't like i would never buy i, I don't know about never but it, it would take e extreme circumstances for me to buy into an early access game from a first time game developer if it were the first game that you know the chances of me committing to that are extremely slim. Extremely slim. But so many people do it just indiscriminately. Oh, early access game. Here's $20 when I could have bought Skyrim when it was on sale for $8. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. So I think people really need to re-examine what they're buying before they buy it. Look into, go onto the forums, the community hub, see what people have said about the game and how garbage it is right now. You know, realize that an early access game is often just a prototype. It's, it's, oh, it's just a sham. Oh, shit. Where are you? Up here. Just a sham. Like, if somebody's really passionate about making a game, maybe you'd buy into early, early access of their game, right? But if they're that passionate about it, they should be able to develop a decent prototype of the game. With, with enough playability to warrant an early access without receiving the money first. Right, if they're really passionate about the game, and I would only buy an early access game from a developer who's really passionate about it and wants to finish the game, and, and, and not just for the money, but wants to play the finished game and wants people to play the finished game, you know? That's the only kind of early access I, I would really buy into right now. Oh, and I, I did buy into the... I, I did pre-order ESO. But I already know... You guys have basically uh, told me... Well, flat out, people have told me that... If you play ESO, I'll donate $15 a month so that you can keep playing it. So, you know, I, I kind of feel like it's it's almost my duty to buy it <laughs> at this point and play it. 
just so that you guys don't have to buy it straight away because it's not a free to play game and I don't know what kind of trials there are going to be and things like that so I kind of feel like it's my responsibility to buy the game and play it on stream especially with the with the five days early access so you guys can experience the game through my stream and uh, and decide whether or not to buy it on release why would the first time game developer bother finishing the game when they already made a profit with the early access version? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. If they're a passion, passionate game developer, then they will finish it regardless. But how do you know that when they're first time game developer? You don't know that they're passionate about the game. Pretty sure Banished isn't doing early access. I don't know that game. But if it doesn't do early access, then I like it a little bit more. ESO beta was quite disappointing. Well, Cake Bombs, um, I haven't played the game myself yet. I decided to to not play in beta, and I'll I'll give you guys a few reasons. I did what I've done in beta is gone and made some characters in the character creator, and seen the first uh, like few seconds of of being in the game. And my experience so far is that the game is beautiful. The character creator is really good. And the, and the controls are just like any other, so far, just like any other ESO game, but that, uh, Elder Scrolls game, but that was just walking around looking in the, in the spawn, oh shit. When did I, I just saved, right? I just saved. Because so far I haven't been able to get unparalyzed after being paralyzed by this. Yep, I just died. You were a fool. I was a fool! So, um... What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I decided not to play in the ESO beta because uh, of a few reasons. Number one is that I want my first, my fresh experience, my new experience with the game to be on stream with you guys so you guys can see, you know, my first reactions to everything and my, you know, authentic reactions to each thing in the game. The second re reason, and honestly this is a more, more important reason to me, is that in beta, it's going to be garbage at some points. There's going to be crashing and glitches and all that kind of stuff. And I don't want to play the final game, you know, with my bajillion dollars that it costs to buy it. And, oh, I'm, I need to continue on a little bit. I don't want to play the final game and get up to a point and be like, oh, and this is where the game crashed. Oh, I remember that. You know, that was so annoying. And have my experience with the final game marred by my experience in a beta test. Alright Gamer Kitty, enjoy your look, and I am sorry that Twitch chat is so uh, dysfunctional today. Although there's really nothing I can do about it. But Thanks for getting that message through anyway, letting us know. Five unlootable urns, you know there were plenty of unlootable urns in Skyrim. Uh, the, just the broken ones. But you know what, I'm, the, the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to about ESO is the voice, you know, the vo fully voiced characters is really helps with the immersion. Every character in the game is voiced. So I'm going to, hey Jam the Beans, welcome. So I'm going to be, uh, you know, talking to all the NPCs and, and enjoying the world and getting immersed in the game. And exploring. Just the exploration, not for loot or anything like that, just for this, just for the nice views, just for looking at the game. That's what I'm looking forward to the most, really. Like, the action, the action parts are going to be fun. The, the, the combat looks pretty good so far from what I've seen. But, um... But the main thing I'm going to look forward to is just exploring the world. And please let me move. Exploring the world and playing with you guys as well. Especially on the, on the days when we do it as, as Twitch geeks. Like me, Diddy, and OP, and, and whoever else all play it together. Oh, you're saying that wasn't actually that bad, Cake Bombs, that there was five unlootable urns because there were five million more. I see. Okay, we need to we need to load. Uh, Dallas Chiefs fan, Arena is set in all of Tamriel. I'll show you just here as I load because I can't get out of that. And hey, Salucci. Oh, let's... I can't access the world map while I'm in here, but it's, it's all of Tamriel. Plain and simple. God! Where did the donation button go? I'm pretty sure it's still there, Saluchi. But if it isn't, that is very important. 
because now I'm uh, now I'm technically running on donation money because I did I quit my one day at work, guys. So I've got one day now per week when I work. Yeah, there's a great big donation button down there. I quit one of my days at work, so now I'm working one day a week at work, and uh, yeah, I basically need to be donated a certain amount each week. Now you guys don't need to worry. I made sure before I quit my one day at work yeah, and and only have the one day left. I uh, I have shit. This is so bad. The Medusas is two of them, so they always stun me. I I can live just on money that I've earned from Twitch. I can live for the next and and, and my one day a week at work. I can live for the next four months without you guys donating anything. Okay, so don't freak out and say, "Oh crap, I better go down to my last dollar donating to him." Okay, don't do that. But uh, oh shit. And then even after that, I could live on my, my savings, which I really don't want to go. I don't want to dip into my savings, but I will if I have to, to keep on streaming. Um, but after that, I, God damn it. How am I supposed to kill these guys? Um, but, but I could live for another six months with my one day a week at work. Oh my God. How do I? I can. You can defeat one Medusa because if you get close enough to it, it can't cast its paralyzed spell. Oh my God, this is so bad. But I can't get both to both close enough to both of them. So you guys don't need to worry about donating that much. But you know, you know, <laughs> you know. I just need to need to start making a certain amount each week on the stream eventually. You know, within the next few months. So, but I'm pretty sure. God damn it. And my job uh, is at a petrol station. I work at a petrol station, a mobile petrol station, uh, just basically as a cashier. What is it that you need to do to retain viewers? Cake bombs? Uh, put corks in all the holes they're leaking out of. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, we're just going to uh, maybe try to avoid them. Try to avoid the Medusa. Oh! This guy can't stun me, so that's good. Now, did the Medusas follow me all the way? Oh! Feel like a woman. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I do. I feel like a woman. Thank you, Salucci. Oh my god. <laughs> You're a goofy goober. Ah. We're all goofy goobers. Ah. Goofy goofy goober goobers. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> Thank you, anonymous, who donated ten dollars, which I believe was uh, Salucci, because he always likes to pretend he's anonymous. Uh, and then Gamer Kitty, who donated five dollars, and then said uh, donations should be working. <laughs> Love heart. So thank you. Gamer Kitty, even if chat's not working, <laughs> just communicate through donations. Oh, Gamer Kitty. And then Revanche said, Twitch is eating all of my stuff. So, same deal. Revanche, he just, he just wanted to say something so badly that he had to, uh, that he had to, had to use a donation to say that. So, normally I would wait a little longer to do a break, but now I owe you guys, uh, five giveaways since there's three from donations. I'll and, do the uh, Thank you to whoever that was. I imagine that was probably Saluchi again since the name was uh, was Kappa. <laughs> but I'll check all that in a second. So now you go six uh, six giveaways. So we're gonna take uh, take the break here. I'm gonna do some giveaways and then take my break, go get some milk, and then do the other giveaways. 
and then come back. So for everybody on YouTube, thanks for watching. Next video uh, is, well, we're cutting to the next video here. So anyway.